my sparkling brains let's start with grade 4 chapter of reasoning book that is ranking doing ranking questions develop the ability to evaluate and prioritize the thing and that makes you a good leader and a team worker so let's start and here we meet Meher and Surili and Meher is asking Surili that did you understand ranking taught by the teacher yesterday in the class and Surili said yes do you have any problem and then Meher said yes I have a bit problem in understanding it and after this Surili taught her that when you have something in a row sometimes you count from the leftmost side sometimes you count from the rightmost side and they are very interesting question she further told once you do questions on ranking it improves your neural connections as well so same thing is going to happen with you when you do the ranking question we come across four categories of question the first one will be you have to identify the student's position or the object from the left hand or the right hand second category is you have to interchange the position and check now what is the new position third category is to identify the position or the rank of the object or the person with respect to the position of some other object and the fourth category is here you have to identify the rank or position of the object or a person after removing some objects from the line right also remember the formula to count the total number of persons in a row that is the position of a person from the left side plus the position of a person from the right side and then you subtract one from it so here we come with different more formulas the first is if you need to find the position of a person from the right you are going to take total number of persons minus the position from the left plus one and if we want to know the position of a person from the left we will say total number of persons minus position of the person from the right this time plus one and the same thing is applicable when you go from the top and the bottom so counting the position from the top means total persons minus the position of the person from the bottom plus one and the position of person from the bottom is calculated by total number of persons minus the position of the person from the top plus one and if you need to know the total number of persons then position from the left plus position from the right minus one and the same thing is applicable top and the bottom as well we'll take the position from the top plus the position from the bottom minus one so after understanding the tips and the tricks for order and ranking let's understand the example so let's take the case of Ajit who is at the 11th position from the left and at 27th position from the right and you need to know how many children are there. So one thing is you can add 11 and 27 that gives you 38 minus 1 so 37 children are there. Another way to check it is that we have 10 children here and 26 children here so that makes 36 plus 1 Ajit so this is 37 once again let's look at Rajesh and Rakesh who are standing from top to bottom and we observe that Rakesh is at 15th position from the top and Rajesh is at 9th position from the bottom so we conclude that we have 14 children standing before Rajesh and eight children are standing after Rakesh and in between Rajesh and Rakesh are 18 children so if you want to know how many total children are there we can directly come to the conclusion that 34 plus 8 that makes 42 total children are there standing in the row from top to bottom Further, we have another example in a row of 62 persons if Rhea is at 24th position from the left side of the row and Raman he is at 
20th from the right side of the row. Now you want to find the total number of persons sitting between them. So to find the total number of persons between them, we will write down 62 which is the total number minus the position of both of them are added and we get 18 that's cool here we move ahead with another example now we have few alphabet numbers and special characters here and the question says if all the numbers are removed from the given arrangement then which element will be the fourth to the left of m so this is the arrangement we first cut down all numbers starting from r we move towards left and the fourth alphabet becomes t so b is your right answer take another interesting question some persons are sitting and the details are that jennifer is standing between zafar and arjun so let's write zafar arjun and put jennifer in between them then it is Avneet is the only person standing ahead of Zafar. So before Zafar we write Avneet and next point is Gautam is the only person standing behind Arjun. So after Arjun we write Gautam. Now the question is who is at the third position from the front. Let's count first, second, third and we get Zenifer that is D is the right option next example is we have a row of 40 students here and Kaushal is at 19th from the left hand so his position from the right hand will be equal to total number of students in the row minus position of Kaushal from the left plus 1 so we write 40 minus 19 plus 1 and 22nd position is his position from the right hand. Now we come at more questions. Here you are given cameras and if the position of K and S are interchanged, you are changing their positions. And which of the following will be the sixth camera from the left end? So let's start from the left. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you know K and S are interchange. So S will be your correct answer, isn't it? Now after this, you do these questions by your own. So I believe when you start doing them, it is going to boost your interpersonal skill. And you are going to improve your adaptability in this rapid changing world. And my recommendation is that initially you move slowly and gradually it is going to improve your speed which will result in the better answers. So these questions are here for you. We have taken all the variety of questions in the examples as well. Now I want you to begin your brainstorming. Here we go.